Go on, get on in there, little doggy. <laughs> what? Get on in there, little doggy. We're back at my new house, AKA the construction zone with another big update for you guys. We've talked about smartifying the HVAC, the lighting. I mean, heck, we've even talked about energy monitoring and leak detection, which probably leaves you guys wondering, when are you gonna show off your sick freaking Wi-Fi setup? Today. With the help of Ruckus, who sent over not only this, but another five of their Wi-Fi 6 access points, and Ubiquiti, who provided the PoE switch that's gonna power it all, we are going to be installing what is quite possibly the sickest possible Wi-Fi setup in my new place. Like seriously, this is like over 10 grand of the best Wi-Fi gear that money can buy. Just like money can buy this sponsor spot from Glasswire. With Glasswire, you can keep track of weird stuff that's connecting to your PC even when you're not using it. If a strange device joins your Wi-Fi, you'll be notified instantly. So don't wait, get 25% off today using code Linus at the link in the video description. This is the biggest wireless access point I think I've ever seen. And look at the cooling on the back of it. It can suck back, what, 55 watts? Something like that. With with the PoE output on, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you need a, an adult to hold it up for you? But before we get into the new gear, I need to give you guys a bit of backstory. Literally six years ago, I treated myself to a $1,000 Ruckus R700 with the intention of it being my end game wireless access point. I basically just set it up with the super bare bones configuration it had when it was not controlled by their management hardware and I never touched it again. It was that rock solid. I seriously got more enjoyment out of that thing than I would have out of a Titan graphics card. Fast forward to last year though, and I had been getting a little fed up with running a single AP and not really having usable reception in either my front or my backyard. So I bit the bullet, and along with overhauling my 10 gig networking, I installed a completely overkill Ubiquiti Unify Wi-Fi setup. That was supposed to be Endgame 2.0. Unfortunately, this newer setup ended up having connectivity issues, particularly on certain devices, like my LG Smart TV. So after replacing some of the devices, updating all the firmware, re replacing a whole bunch of the cables, I just, I give up. The best experience I've ever had with Wi-Fi has been with Ruckus. So we're gonna keep using Unify at the office, but here at home, Unify switches, Unify cameras, they make really great stuff, but for Wi-Fi, we're cranking it up to 11. This is full 11, boys. Of course, you're probably wondering, what kind of Wi-Fi upgrade vlog is this if you've already installed the access point? Well, here's the thing. My old house was around 2,000 square feet and was easily serviced with two of Ubiquiti's XG series, or before that, a single Ruckus R700. My new house is more than three times the size with a big backyard, a long front driveway that I'm gonna want Wi-Fi reception from so that I can control my smart garage doors, and on top of all of that, concrete between each of the floors due to the in-floor heating, which tends to seriously reduce your signal strength, which raises the question, how do you even figure out how much access point you need for a space like this, aside from just making an educated guess. Well, there are a few online tools that allow you to upload a floor plan of your house, trace out the walls, and then play around with the positioning of your access points. Ruckus's tool, unfortunately, was a bit kludgy, so we actually ended up using Ubiquiti's Unified Design Center and settled on a plan with two APs on the upper floor, two on the ground floor, one in the basement, one in the garage, and two outside, bringing us to a grand total of, oh, I got the number wrong before, uh, eight, eight access points. Sheesh. Let's start with our outdoor access points. We settled for T710s due to availability issues for the T750 with the main drawback being that, okay, it can only support, what is it, about 500 clients instead of 1,000 clients? And it's Wi-Fi 5. And it's Wi-Fi 5 rather than Wi-Fi 6. But this thing is still absolutely crazy. So you can decide, okay, do you wanna have power over ethernet and do your networking and power that way? Do you wanna run SFP to it? and then plug it into AC power. Uh, these things are designed really more for like 
stadium Wi-Fi. Or like a like a transit station. Yeah, <laughs> something like an airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll be putting one of these in the front and one of these in the back of the house. These are all about getting that range without the brick or concrete in the walls interfering with the signal strength. You put the twisty on the on the cord, you, you wrap it in the nubbin. Obviously it would be a big problem if water got into this connection here. <laughs> That's putting you... it mildly. There you go. Now with the rubber stopper on here, you click in the ethernet cable, there we go. Then push in the rubber stopper and tighten this boy up. We're still gonna wanna leave a little bit of kind of a loop at the bottom of the cable. That's gonna allow any uh, you know rain or condensation or any kind of moisture that gets on this cable, whether it's here or here, to drip off the cable rather than making its way up into the connection and causing it to corrode. I am so glad we had a low voltage contractor come in and wire this place up, man. There's like, what is it, like 50, 60 runs? What is that? <laughs> we have a tone and test kit that we use to trace cables at the office, but the toner is dead. I forgot that the fluke can do tones and it has like a selection of songs. All right, all right, all right, let's trace the cable. <laughs> They're like such nice songs. The other one's like All right, let's go find it. Well, the only way we're not gonna find this is if it doesn't come down here yet. It's not looking that great so far. There's a whole other bundle, chill out. Hey! Because we're in the mechanical room, we're gonna terminate to a female connector. So this is gonna go on a patch panel when there's a rack in here at some point in the future. So it's just a bit of a different process. Then we just get one of them in there. Then we can go ahead and line up all the rest of them. Oh, actually, no, we don't need the tester. We can just plug this right into the switch. Do you have a patch kit? Yes, you do. Awesome, thank you. Speaking of switch, we actually already had this one lying around. You're gonna get a different one, but. Oh. We really? need more ports. Oh, that makes sense. Use the right hand ports. Uh, yeah, so these are PoE++. Let's go back up and give it a shot. Okay, the power LED is blinking now. It's, uh, I think it's just booting up. Okay, here. Sick. It's drawing 4.4 watts right now. Cool. I think we can see it in the unleashed one yet. Oh, I think so. Little IPs. It says it's offline right now. Yeah, it might it just a need a bit. Yeah, I think it's just booting up. Ruckus Unleashed is something that didn't exist back when I bought my R700, but basically it's their response to lower cost site Wi-Fi management like Unify. So it doesn't have the same level of control as if you had a zone controller, but it's not the kind of thing that you'd need for a home or even a small or medium sized business in many cases. And it means that you don't have to buy a zone controller or pay for any ongoing costs. It's just the cost of the hardware and then that's it. Okay, so where do we want this stupid thing? Well, you're, you're on a pot light now. No, no, I got this. Do sometimes w you wish you were a taller guy? No, I wish I had a taller ladder, that's all. <laughs> oh, it's not that straight, you guys. It looks pretty straight from, it's from here. Definitely not. I can't believe I put that on the front of my house. I'm like, okay, my Wi-Fi from here better be amazing. <laughs> it's so f ugly. 700 up. I gotta walk down the street though. Okay, we're probably a good 50 feet from the house right now. I see I have three instead of four bars now. This is on 5G, mind you. <laughs> How's uh, 400 down from here? <laughs> Let's go further. Holy bananas. Holy crap. Your neighbors are gonna hate you. 280? 285? 290! You can definitely see that our phone is starting to be part of the problem. Our upload is only 170. Download 300. He's still going, let's go. We're on 2.4 gigahertz, obviously, at this kind of range. I got 151 milliseconds of jitter here. Really? 0.3 megabit per second, but hey, we're like a, almost a block away. <laughs> I'm so glad the indoor ones look better than the outdoor ones. For sure. These are fine. Not only are they better looking, they're like way smaller. So these are Ruckus R750s. These are their top of the line. So these are Wi-Fi 6, uh, capable of sustaining like a thousand clients per device. And what we're expecting is single client speeds in the neighborhood of like seven, 800 megabit per second. What we could have done was taken the three floors and gone one for this floor on this side, one for this floor on this side, and one for this floor on this side. If we were trying to save a buck, that would have totally gotten us covered. But that's lame. But if we want every room in the house to have ball and Wi-Fi, I think, what is it, two? 
two, and then one or something like that. There's eight access points, two yeah. outside, six inside. <laughs> tone generator, analog tone, all right. Yes. Yeah. Hey, there it is. This is nice cable, it's really easy to work with. And it's color coded properly. Actually, we owe Infinite Cables a shout out anyway in this video, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, they gave me a discount on the cabling for my house, so A discount thanks. is a bit of an understatement. Thanks, Infinite Cables. Appreciate you, fam. Go oh, on, get on in there, little doggy. What? Get on in there, little doggy. And it's lit. So cool. we gotta do two more. Have these already been? It'll auto, okay, the cool thing about Unleashed is it automatically adopts APs. It'll just grab them? It'll just grab them. So now oh. that we have one set up as our master, and then it's got automatic failover, it will just grab these new ones as soon as we plug them in. This is awesome. It just shows up, boom, online, no clients. So one challenge, there's supposed to be a wireless access point at the other end of this hallway, is that right? No, there's one supposed to be one right here. Oh, just right outside but the But it's not bedroom. punched through right now. But it, it, it's not through the ceiling yet. Um, so we were kind of thinking maybe we'll just hook up to this one as a placeholder, or we could use that one. Or should we mount it? We could just put it like just here. Good enough. Oh, come on. You want me to get the stove? No, I got this. <laughs> I will not be wish? defeated by this. You ever wish you were just like six inches taller? Okay. <laughs> Wait, this isn't even anywhere close to reaching That's that. That's why Jake. there's a patch cable. That's why we're putting a female end on it. Oh, there you go. Oh, should I f*** with them? Here, I took the tone off. <laughs> got it. Very close. Okay, on. I got it! There we go. There you go. See you later. So the master, you know what? The living room grabbed both of us right now. So I should have a look at what our speed would be like if we didn't put a second AP down here. I'm still not entirely convinced that the concrete actually makes that much of a difference, but. Well, here we go. I mean, it's pretty thick. It's like a few inches thick. Oh, hold on, here we go. Okay. <laughs> well, this might not be the most necessary access point ever. Should we just relieve it then? <laughs> I don't know. We'll go try it over there. Yeah, we're over 400 down in this corner over here. <laughs> okay, but what about the theater room? I don't know. Yeah, we're like 90, 100 in here. Only 90? Yeah, because of the shape of the house, right. um, it's actually going through like dirt. Now it's time for the final test. There's still two APs missing, one in the garage and one in the living room, but we've got six up and we're ready to before and after compared to our stock Wi-Fi access point from TELUS. Oh wow, even downstairs, like not that far from it, it's only 200. <laughs> and it's in st it's like right there. Now I'm at the other end of the house on the main floor. Oof, those concrete floors, they're a killer. Now I'm chilling in bed in the master bedroom. And actually these results are about as good as what I got one floor down on the other side of the house, which is kind of surprising given where the AP is. Finally, I'm on a video call in the backyard, getting a whopping, no, uh, just kidding, I'm not gonna be on a video call. <laughs> okay, Jake, light it up! We're gonna switch over to the Ruckus APs now. This is gonna be awesome. Am I making video calls from the yard? That is gonna be a big fat yes, ladies and gentlemen. Half a gigabit from the edge of the property line. <laughs> yes, please. Master bedroom's all right, too. Seems pretty decent. Wow, this hallway is like, got that big Wi-Fi energy. And theater room, here we go. Woo! It's a little faster than the TELUS uh, box. I mean, to be clear, this is like racing a Tesla Model S Plaid against a horse. But I've got one more big challenge. I'm going to start a speed test and then I'm gonna run around the house and see what happens. Ready? Here we go. You don't have to keep up, Andy, I got the camera. I'm moving around as fast as I can. Okay, we're going all the way up the stairs here. Moving around, uninterrupted. Okay, now we're uploading. Going down another stairwell, see you later, Andy. Okay, uploading it. Oh man, I couldn't even. 1% loss, ripping around the house like that. Obviously the speeds aren't as good as if I let it settle and grab the best you know, nearest access point. So you can see I'll run it again here. I'm not screen recording right now, but there you go. It's better if I'm sitting still. Now there's one other thing I wanna try before we wrap this up. Ruckus suggested that one of their APs in the center of the house probably would have been fine. And they might be right. 
but there's only one way to find out for sure. So I'm gonna disable the five gigahertz radio on all but one of the APs and see if I still get five gigahertz throughout the house. You really don't have to keep up, Andy. All right. Gonna start in the living room. Ugh, we're heading all the way upstairs. How much Wi-Fi are we gonna have in the bedroom? Oh wow, still like 200. Uh, what about in this bedroom? Oh yeah, it's still 200. This bedroom, oh, only like 50. Yeah, definitely want the other AP for that one. This bedroom's got 50. It definitely wouldn't have done the outside, but honestly, they probably have a point when it comes to the interior space. Head down into that basement. Oh yeah. Yep, if we were willing to settle for 200 to 300 megabit per second, that one AP in the family room would have easily covered this whole house. This is why I love their stuff. Uh, you can't see me at all. But I'm down here in the theater room now. Oh yeah, land center. Yeah, it would have been, would have been fine. Oh man, even outside, this thing slays. Hey Jake. Hi. I'm getting 260 from here. F off. <laughs> 260 down, 100 up. Okay, Ruckus, you proved your point. I could have done a 6,000 square foot house with just the one AP, but I still like my way better where I'm getting like maximum speed over every square inch of the inside of the house. So yeah, thanks for sending those over. And thanks to you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, thanks to Backblaze for sponsoring this video. Backblaze is a cloud storage solution that is easy to use and affordable starting at just $7 a month. They offer unlimited data backup at a fixed price. That's it. You can back up almost anything and restore your files from anywhere. They've got a mobile app so you can access them on the go. You can directly download them from the web. You can even restore them by mail. That's right. You purchase Restore via hard drive. They will overnight FedEx your data to you. You copy it all off the hard drive. Then you return it to them for a refund. They've restored over 50 billion files for their customers and have over an exabyte of data backed up. So why wait? Get a fully featured 15 day free trial with no credit card required at backblaze.com slash LTT. Try it out and start protecting yourself from potential bad times at the link in the video description. You know what, for a blast from the past, go check out my original review of the Ruckus R700 because the best thing about these isn't the throughput actually. On a per client basis, we've seen APs that'll do more throughput. Where they really shine is with multiple clients. So in that video, I, st I just kept loading up with client streaming video until access points choked and the ruckus stood out head and shoulders above the rest.